The last 18 months have seen eSports racing grow massively and we felt now is the time to provide the eSports racers with the facility that they deserve. Our new arena is the first of its kind globally in the core location of Wynwood in Miami. We'll have 20 simulators that we can hold both national and international level events. It's going to contain an eSports arena where we'll be hosting competitions. It's also going to host a real world driver academy and also allow young drivers to progress through the ranks both of eSports gaming and real world racing. I'm really excited to see local gamers from the Miami area coming along and using our facilities. Drivers have become a lot more scientific, much better prepared. You have young drivers like Lando Norris and Max Verstappen coming up through the ranks very fast, not just in real racing but also in eSports. At our current facility, Emerson Fittipaldi is a regular visitor with his kids and grandkids and there's no better endorsement than that. The simulators now, technically, they are so close to reality. I mean, you learn a track before you go into the track. Where to brake, where to turn, the reaction, reflex, coordination. is a mental exercise. I wish on my time I had simulators. It'd be, my life would be much easier. I'm sure a top simulator driver, he can be a very competitive driver. He could be a potential world champion. There's many reasons to choose Miami as the first of our global esports racing facilities. Everybody wants to come to Miami. A lot of things happening in the space. It's central to the American racing community, but also the South American racing community. It's a showcase for us to start off this first of many different arenas. Millennial Esports have set out to change the way that people look at esports racing. This is a new category, both within esports and within motorsports. I think the future of eSports happen now. I mean, there's so much competition globally. There's so many championships to enter. And I think that's the future that's now happened. It's not the future, it's now.